this nice and slowly. Okay. Now, I know it's difficult for you, but remember, it's probably the difference between prison and freedom. Mm -hmm. I know what's at stake. Anna, it's absolutely critical that you remember every single detail in and around the shooting, no matter how painful it might be. If there was a simpler way of doing this, I would have found it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did, huh? From the beginning. Mm -hmm. Sam? Meet Olivia. All right, we're going to do this according to how it was laid out in Anna's statement. Right. You will be in the hall just prior to entering the room. All right? Mm -hmm. Where was Olivia? Uh, she's about here. All right. Let's do it. Oh, one more thing. You'll need this. All right, folks, showtime. Now, when you come through this door, the only thing on your mind is... Uh, you killed my baby, and, um... Now I'm going to kill you. Something like that. This is stupid. Look, look, don't think about it. Just do it. Remember what happened on the night. On the night I came in here, I wanted to tear her head off. And I now you're not interested. You know, now you just want to throw in the towel, right? I didn't say that. Then get into it. Get mad. What's your freedom worth to you for crying out loud? You want to go to prison? You want to go back and explain to your crying daughter why you can't come home? You want to do time for a murder you say you didn't commit? I didn't do it. Then get into this. Help me prove it, will you? I'm trying to. Think of the motivation. Think of what that woman's done to you. Think of all the grotesque tapes. Think of the fact that she sent you a doll with a broken head. You live a hand, a, a snake. Killed one of the lovebirds. She destroyed your unborn child. She Stop tried it. to kill your husband. Stop it. Listen, you weren't the one that was meant to die in the elevator. Duke was meant to do that. He was meant to... The four was supposed to kill him. If that hadn't killed him, then she was going to electrocute him. Shut if up. that didn't work, Stop she it. was going to do it with her bare hands. Then tell her that. You killed my child. And if you think you're ever going to get your hands on Duke, I'll kill you myself. You... You would dare. You watch me. You've put us through hell. How do you like this? How do you like it? Anna, just don't do something you're going to regret later. What I regret is not shooting you sooner when I had the chance. I'm going to stop you from ever laying a finger on my family again. I had nothing to do with what happened to those people. It doesn't matter. Tim confessed. We've got it all on tape. Anna, you hear something? Did she distract you? I don't know if she was there. Well, how did she overpower you? I mean, how'd she get the gun? There was a knock at the door. You never said that in your statement. No, I didn't remember it until now, but there was a knock at the door. That's right. It distracted me for a split second, and she grabbed the gun. So, there was someone else. Yeah. For what it's worth. It's what it's worth. It's worth a whole lot. That's what I came here to establish, sweetie pie. We're in. <laughs> <laughs> Just knew there had to be a catch, and you found it. Have I? Uh-huh. You've given us the break we need. I don't know why you're getting so excited about this. Neither do I, actually. Because we've established this critical third presence. Without him or her, you didn't have a chance. At least this way, we have the possibility of proving that someone had opportunity to shoot Olivia. But Robert, we don't know who it was. All I heard was a knock on the door. By the time I was pushed outside, there was nobody in the hall. That's because the visitor had taken up a much more advantageous position. Where? Let me show you. I'm going to go for take two. Here. We've got to do this again? This time, though, you don't stop. You keep going. You let Olivia push you against the door and then out into the hallway. Except when you come back in again, you don't shut the door. Hmm? I think you'll be amused. Where were we? Um, you were saying that Tim confessed and it was all oh, over. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tim confessed. We have it all on tape. It's all over. Knock, knock. Now? Come on, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. 
Do I hear something now or? No. No? Or just don't know when? Well, I have to get outside the door. All right. Okay, now I get pushed outside the door. So Olivia comes back in the room and is by herself, and then what happens? I don't know. And I came back in the room, and that was... Bang. Roll credits. Fight the black. Amazing. Actually, it was pretty simple. Most of the complicated plots are. It's just that we didn't see the obvious. So what do you think? I don't like suspense movies much. Any doubts now that that's how Olivia was shot? No. I believe it. How do we prove there was somebody on the balcony and who was it? Oh! oh. <laughs> Sam, take me off. All right? Yeah, I guess so. So tell me what happened. Well, um, I think it worked. What, he was right? Yeah, he knew exactly what he was doing. So you remembered something new? Somebody knocked at the door. I, I didn't remember it at first, and then when we, we were doing it, um, I just remembered that that's, that's what distracted me, and, and, and so Olivia could get the gun. So that's when she overpowered you and shoved you into the hallway? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm from the other side of the door. I heard the shots and um, Robert thinks that whoever it was knocked on the door had time enough to get down and around and onto the balcony to shoot her. I mean, that the doors weren't closed. So this is perfect then? That's it? Well, he seems to think so. So all he has to do is identify this mystery guest and you're free. Yeah, I suppose so. Why are you excited about it? Well, I don't know, really. We've got to prove it, and I don't know if I'm ever going to get out of this place. Of course you're going to get out of this place. You're innocent. I wrote all Robert has to do is prove it. Well, couldn't have gone better, even if I'd set it up myself. Sounds like you did. Well, the credit goes to Anna, actually. It wasn't easy for her. Yeah, the second time around. All it does is it confirms my theory. And that is that Olivia's would-be assailant struck from the balcony. If Anne is telling the truth... We're not going to go through this again, are we? No, we're not going to go through this again because I believe her, but a jury may not believe her. And you're asking that jury to take her word about what happened that night. This is not exactly an open and shut case. Tell me something I don't know. All right, I'll tell you something you don't know. You don't know who was outside on the balcony of Olivia's suite. Until you put a face to the theory of yours, we're still stumbling around in the dark. Not for long. I intend to go all out on this one. I have method. I have opportunity. I just don't quite have a suspect at the moment. Mm. However... Scorpio. I need to see you. Go along a little swamped at the moment, you know. A lot of low sense to catch up. Oh, nothing that pressing. See the lady. If anybody needs R&R, &R, it's you. That's uh, my personal physician, Dr. Fieldwood there, just ordering me to enjoy myself. What are you doing for dinner? I'm free, but I... Oh, then, uh, how about you pick out a nice restaurant? No. Know? I don't, I don't want to go to a restaurant. Why not? Can't we just have dinner alone, the two of us? Well, that sounds nice. At least the suggestion does. You, on the other hand, don't sound like you're really in the mood for a candlelight uh, supper and soft music. Something wrong? Everything will be just fine after we talk. 